Brooklyn. Is this kind of a, uh, you've had one game with your new guys. Uh, what do you want to see tonight? After the first game in Boston, what did you like? What did you dislike? I uh, want to just continue to build off, off last game. I think um, our effort and our attention to detail was um, was really high. You want to try to continue that going in tonight. Were you, were you surprised as no, there was no, I guess, adjustment period of scene? Yes, there right. was, there was. was. There's, there's going to be an adjustment period, and, um, and it's going to take a little bit for us to to be clicking on all cylinders. I, I know we had a really good game in Boston, but um, there's some things we can work on still, and we're going to have to work on in order for us to be a, a really, really good team. So, um, you know, tonight is another opportunity for us to get better. What can they do? I mean, they, they hammered you pretty good in Cleveland. Got some new guys. What can this guy, this group, do that maybe you couldn't do last time? It's going to have to be better. Obviously. Oh, well, we can't give up 150 points. Uh, it doesn't matter what guys you have and who you're competing against. You give up 150, you're not going to win many games. So, you know, defensively, that's where it's going to start. How much of that the last, last time you guys played was the idea of a spirit problem and how much do you think was a matchup problem? Um, no, I don't know. I mean, it was a combination of a lot of things. It was a, a ball going in the hoop on our defensive end problem. That was more than anything, and obviously, you know, when you're not getting stops and you're playing from behind the eight ball the whole game, you know, it's just tough to get back into that. And it was in such a good rhythm. The way you guys had to talk on defense because you had new guys, is that something you want to keep? It seems like that's what you've been looking for. Uh, well, communication is always key in, in, in sports. No matter um, if you got new guys or guys that have been together for years, um, you know, communication is always key. No, I think uh, with the All-Star being a little bit later this year, it doesn't even kind of feel like it. It doesn't even feel like the break is coming, even though we know. Uh, you know, you kind of get to the halfway point in, you know, the previous years, and you're like, uh, let's get this thing over with. But, you know, right now, we, I think we're 50-plus games into the season, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to this challenge. And, you know, with the new guys, they're, they're excited about it. So, um, you know, it should be an exciting game. Ron, this is the, this is the first year since... 2010 that you're not on a big three team. How much different is it? How much different is it than uh, you know the challenge for you or how you play or or just the makeup of the team when you know right now it's probably Kevin out. You're, you're the you're the one established superstar and everyone else is kind of a role role player. Um, it doesn't it doesn't change for me. My approach doesn't change. Um, I still got to lead. Um, I still got to go out and perform and do it in all facets of the game. You know, so um, you know, I have no problem with that. I love taking the light off off my teammates, and all they have to worry about is going out and playing. So, um, you know, I don't mind that at all. How much do you enjoy getting to know new teammates' personalities, what they like, what they don't like, getting to know them as people? No, I think it's pretty cool, man. I think at the end of the day, you know, we're here for it. For one reason, and that's to compete for a championship. But at the end of the day, the game in between the games is always special as well. So, um, you know, getting to know your teammates over the course of the season, you know, the, the bus rides and the plane rides and the dinners that we have and things of that nature, that always helps. Does it take a special something about your team to bring in this many new faces this late in the year and get um, that mix to go? And it takes a special locker room to be able to do that. And uh, we have one. LeBron, we're broadcasting this game nationally in China. Chinese New Year's upon us. Is there any message you can say to your Chinese fans? Uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, I spent a lot of time uh, in China, especially in the off season, and uh, it's always great when they get an opportunity to see our games live. Um, you know, they they support the NBA so much, and uh, you know, I definitely respect that. And looking forward to getting back out there at some point. There's a local guy here, in Trey Young, going to have to make a decision to go pro. What decision? <laughs> that ain't no decision. Well, That's yeah. like I saying my waking up this morning. That ain't no decision. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Brushing my teeth. Ain't no decision. You better go pro. Well, let me ask you this. What, what's, he, what's he facing then to make that jump? You were in uh, high school. He's playing one of your college. What's, yeah. what's the biggest adjustment he'll have to make? Um, how much money he going to spend monthly? How much he going to save? <laughs> That's the only adjustment he got to worry about. I have a question, guys. So did you, uh, you have to explain to Larry and Jordan and Rodney what house party is? 
Uh, they are too young, I think. <laughs> no, nah, they weren't when they came out, right? Uh, they have no idea, but my man Swish right here know what house party is all about. So, um, listen, that it's uh, it's it's fun. It's an honor when I got the opportunity to to produce it, uh, reboot the whole the movie. Man, I had so much fun as a kid watching that movie and. Uh, you know, when I was growing up as a, as, a, as a youngster, I was like, man, I hope I get an opportunity to go to one of these house parties where it's just a bunch of fun, a lot of joking around, a lot of dancing, people just having a good time. So uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So I maybe even make a cameo in it, but we'll see.